Bianca Belair here considers herself the EST of WWE, the strongest, fastest, toughest, and all-around best superstar the company has to offer. And one of the most athletic superstars to ever come out of the Performance Center. You could say her EST moniker is cocky, but there is also a strong element of truth to it. Absolutely. Belair certainly not lacking for confidence, especially as she can often back up her claims in the ring. And then you have the untouchable Carmella. Some have a misinformed opinion about Mella as a superstar who just runs her mouth too much. But anyone with that view is drenched with envy, knowing that every time the bell rings, Carmella is able to back up every truth she speaks. Uh, I don't know if I would completely agree with all of that, Corey, but I will not deny that Carmella has been, on occasion, known to put her money where her mouth is once that bell rings. Trying to capitalize. Come on, she turns it around. Carmella loves to run her mouth, but there's no denying that she's also about as vicious as they come. Corey, what do you think Carmella should rely more on here? As much as Carmella's trash talking has served her well in the past and continues to do so, ultimately she needs to focus on just being as physically vicious as we know she can be. And she's stunned in the corner. Bianca out thought her there. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Glazed eyes on Belair now. Shoulders down. Whoa. You gotta be kidding me. Everyone here is in shock. And Carmella really thought she had her there. Really was expecting the count of three. Carmella fell right into that one. And another counter. Spectacular move. Saw it coming and got out of there. Stomping. Ouch. There it comes. Chicken wing up and slam slam. Carmella perhaps realizing there that she's not as untouchable as she claims. Good maneuver there by the EST. Oh, what a count. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, 
crashing down with a big time splash. On the top, she flips it back on her.